You know it wouldn't be a Max Vape Reviews video if there wasn't a cloud first thing in the beginning. What's up everybody? Thanks for joining me again for another Monday video, another review, and today it's the BC Mini. I've been testing this thing. I've been putting it through its paces all week long. Um, pretty much non-stop. I hadn't picked up any other mod besides this. Been around the same Addy on it. Same cool, just changed out the cotton. Um, been rocking her at 50 watts, and it's been rocking. Got the old tugboat on here just kicking ass. So let's get into it. Why don't we? Uh, first thing I want to show you, this does have the uh, optional LiPo batteries uh, that I highly, highly recommend now. Um, they have made me a firm believer. You'll see 50 watts giving me 5.02 at 0 0.4 ohms. I got 3.89 volts of battery life left. Let's give it a hit. See how low that battery sag is? How barely it even sags? That's ridiculous. Um, let's do a comparison right quick. This is my 26650 with a E-Fest, my purple E-Fest in it, on 30 watts. And look how much battery sag this has. And a higher battery voltage left. And a higher ohm. It's ridiculous. Re ridiculous <sighs> I never thought I'd say this folks never in my life thought I'd say that I would prefer a lipo cell over a regular cell regular IMR cell I love my IMR batteries I always have 26650 right here blew me away with the battery life that it had it was just it was awesome and it's still great, but that's getting converted to lipos because I tried this and I'm burnt, I'm spoiled. What can I say? This thing, my first day of battery testing, I rocked this thing at 50 watts, same setup, 50 watts, 0.4 ohms, and it lasted me from 6 a.m. until midnight. I left it off the charger, picked it up at 8 a.m. when I woke up, and it lasted me till about. 12 to 1230 before it went dead. Now I could have dropped the wattage and kept going with it, but I wanted to see strictly 50 watts what it could do. And it beat the 26650. I get 6 a.m. to about 830 to 9 on this at night. 6 a.m. to 830 to 9 p.m. at night before it goes dead. This beat it by eight hours. And it's way smaller. I mean, you look at the two, it's a little bit taller but a whole lot smaller and it fits the hand a whole lot better too I, I really like it the power is unbelievable um, this thing doesn't even sweat at 50 watts at 0.4 I could have probably built a 0.8 on cooling this and rocked it at 50 watts and it wouldn't break a sweat it's it's everything that I thought it would be and a whole lot more now it's the same as the prototype if you watch the prototype video it does have the Fat Daddy 510 with a floating center pan. Same button, same SX350 chip. Um, of course, you got the charge port, indicator light, red when charging, green when full. Um, and unlike the 26650, the first run of 26650 uh, BCs had a slight imperfection with the backing where it didn't quite fit flush on one side. It fit flush on one, but not the other. This thing is perfect all the way around everything fits nice flush smooth the Cerakoting finish that is a Cerakote finish it is smooth it's also nice too when you get juice on this stuff it just wipes right off there's no fuss there's no nothing it is scratch resistant um, and it feels great it's it's a nice satin finish it's smooth to the touch it almost feels you get the texture feel of like a kinda like a rubbery finish because it's matte and it's smooth and so soft, but it's it's hard. I mean, it's you can tell it's it's on there, and it's on there for the long haul. The uh, now you can't get this in eighteen six fifty for a little cheaper price. The eighteen six fifty version starts out at two hundred and fifty dollars, six dollars shipping 
for the lipo batteries the lipo upgrade are four cells it's uh let me pull out the old telephone here it's it's a little bit higher they're four cells um it's ridiculous the amount of uh the amperage that it allows you you get way more amperage than you'll ever pull out of it uh I'm sorry folks, it's 3000 milliamp, 105 constant amps, and 210 burst. 3000 milliamps. And there's the, the amperage, the, the constant amp, the, the maximum constant discharge rating is uh, it's so high that, I mean, it, it don't strain the battery at all, at all. It's ridiculous um, and you can even tell the difference hitting the mod side by side same atomizer if I hit it 50 watts on this and 50 watts on this this 50 watts it's solid uh, it's solid it, it there's a difference a, a pretty substantial difference between the two the lipos are going to run you the lipo option is going to be 271 dollars shipping and all for four cell lipo um, and the backs are sealed on the lipos you won't be able to open the back on the lipo it will be sealed if you do open the back of it it will void any kind of warranty on the device so if you get the lipo option you will not be able to take the back off the 18650 of course you can take the back off pull your battery in and out whatnot um, as long as you don't break the, the warranty seal around the battery sled you're good on that but man honestly I don't see why you wouldn't get the lipos it is it's that much of a difference um, it's an insane amount of difference especially on late between the 18650 when they're both fully charged it's about on par with the 26 but once you get below four volts of battery life left this thing just pulls away. It's not even a contest. It's not even close to a contest. This thing outperforms that 26650 hands down. Hands down. It's great. You do have the, the vent hole in the bottom. You see I, this one's kind of got a little bit of battle wounds on it. Um, I kind of scrubbed it a little bit but I've been pretty rough with this thing like I said when I put it through its paces man I gotta put it through its paces I gotta let you guys know that it's gonna be a damn good device and it's going and it is a damn good device by the way uh, all the boxes are one-off boxes he has these machined to his specifications and um, man they're nice you won't see anybody else with a box like this unless it's a BC it, that's the that's the thing about it you're not just buying a box mod you're buying a device it's not you know you're gonna see five different makers with the same box just a different style of putting it together this is his own box that he makes it and so is this um, and it's it's fabulous if you want a piece if you want a device that not a lot of people are gonna have that freaking oh, Man, I'm in love, guys. I'm in love with a device. If you want one that not a lot of people are going to have, you want to be exclusive. You want people to ask questions. You want people to see this and be like, oh, man, I like that box. Get a BC Mods. This one doesn't have the logo on it. I did get this is the first, very, very first one that he put together after they came back from the final machining and uh, coating and all that. So it doesn't have the logo on it. I was like, give me that. I'm taking it. Uh, there was no waiting around. I wasn't going to wait for it to get a logo on it. Hey, we know what the logo looks like. If not, it's going to be the thumbnail of this video. So you'll see. I wanted it. I was taking it. I wasn't waiting around. And you can't get this kind of power on 90% of boxes. Not unless they're LiPo and got a SX350 or maybe even a Raptor. But if you want a one-of-a-kind box, 
you want a hell of a box mod. And I do mean a hell of a box mod. You build this thing at 0.3 and put it at 60 watts, and it's amazing. You build it at 0.5, put it at 50 watts, it's amazing. Any way you build it, it it's so versatile. Let's go through the menu before I forget. Before I get too far rambling on and I forget, I know I've went through the menu on all these before. They're all the same, but I'm going to go through them real quick one more time. Five clicks to the menu. You can hear it does have that nice clicky button. Let's get some focus going on here. If I can find my old cursor. Uh, you'll see you got the presets here. Uh, I think that adjusts it. No, yeah. Shit. Anyways. You got five presets in that. Let's go to the exit. We'll go back into that. Tilt it this way. It'll take you through your presets. Five presets. So you can choose. You can set them at whatever you want. So you can adjust on the fly. You can throw a different ID on. Bypass mode is going to make this a mechanical device. Uh, you turn bypass on. It's going to... It makes it a mechanical device. You can turn it off. System on and off. Uh, we'll do it and do it. Bye bye. Hell, why not, right? Got your BC mods pops up. SX350, and we're back in business. Let's give this five more clicks. We're back to the menu. System on and off. Link on and off. When you got an update, you'll turn link on. Connect it to the computer. If there's not a. If it's not connected to the computer, as soon as you exit the menu. It will turn itself back off automatically. Display. Now the display on this, this is a new feature since the last update. You can change it. This You can flip it around. Um, let's turn it on auto. Let me show you what auto does. You got, and I'll leave it on auto. Uh, if you got it on auto, you flip it. Screen flips with you. So yeah, that's pretty much the menu to get through it if you need a more detailed description on how to adjust through the presets you can go watch the other videos I go in depth with those um, not going to go in too much here um, it also one more thing god man there's so much to this mod not nah, I know when I get finished shooting this video you will be thinking man I should have added that in it also fits your big devices your 26650 devices, I forget the millimeter of the size now, is it 28? Or whatever. It does have the well that's milled out in there to fit those big devices. But I don't own any of those because I don't make big devices. I'm just a regular old 22 millimeter dripper kind of guy. Y'all don't know how good that is. I know you're watching me on video and you hear me talking. You can't really appreciate what this is until you vape one. That's the hardest part about doing these reviews. Because there's tons of different mod makers, especially now that Hammond boxes have become real popular. Everybody and their mom is making mods. You can't really appreciate the BC mod until you vape on it. Until you hold it, until you feel it, the feel of size, how great it feels in the hand. Because the, when you hold it in your hand, that button's just right there at the finger. It's, oh, and I locked it. Huh. There we go. You can't appreciate it until you vape it. Mm. I've not picked anything else up. This whole time that I've had this mod, I have not picked up anything. This right here... Right now is the first time I've even used this. First time I hit the button on it since I've had it. You decide for yourself. Is it worth it to you? Is it worth it to me? Guys, with the LiPo in it, it is absolutely worth it. Um, the 18650 is a good, it, it's good now. Don't get me wrong. If you don't vape extremely high wattages, if you're fine with a Nautilus tank on 15 watts, 18650 will do you just fine. Uh, and get good battery life for you. It's a battery. This chip does not suck down a battery. Um, but if you want to go 50 watts, if you want to build down, this thing fires down to 0.15. Uh, it'll fire 0.17. I, I metered it out. It'll fire 0.17. It will not fire 0.14. So I, I couldn't build a 0.15. I 
I tried three times and kept up coming up with 0.17 or 0.14. It will fire 0.17. Um, it actually reads it as 0.2. Uh, 0.14, it read it as 0.1, would not fire. I did it with my own checker. With the lipos, it's absolutely worth it. It's just a knock your socks off, powerful vape. 0.4, I'm getting a better vape off of this at 0.4 at 50 watts than I did at 0.12 on a mechanical. So yeah, that's what I got. Thanks for watching, guys. And if you want a BC mod, you want to check them out. You want to see the colors that they got. You want to know everything about them. You want to talk to Blake, ask him questions about it. I'll link to their website in the description. I'll also link to his Facebook in the description where you can get all the info on these updates when they come available. Um, you can see the colors. You can see... The other mods that he's got coming up, and he does got some more mods coming up. I gotta keep that hush hush. I'm bad at keeping vape secrets, but I'll give you that little bit. There is another mod coming up too, um, after this one. But that's all I'm gonna give you on it. It'll be up for review when the time comes. Check out, check him out. Check out his Facebook. Check out his website. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you guys Monday with another mod review that the ladies are gonna love. Some guys might like it, but the ladies are gonna love it. Um, and I'll see y'all then. Thanks for watching.